Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to show you how to run a large language model on FreeBSD and for that we'll be using the Olama project. So let's open the terminal. The first thing you need to have is you need to have um, a good graphics card. I think you can also run the large language model on a CPU, not on a GPU, but it will be relatively uh, slow. Uh, in this case, uh, what I have here is uh, in my system, uh, you can see that we have um, here the NVIDIA with NVIDIA mode set. And this allows to have the NVIDIA um, SMI. So let's reduce this a little bit. <clears throat> so uh, I have um, the NVIDIA SMI version 550-5414. And you can see I have a Quadro M2000M. It's relatively old, but it's good enough for our test case. The first thing we need to do is the Olama project is relatively recent and has not been, uh, is not in the package yet. So let's um, see. So I'm going to do a um, port snap fetch. then port snap um, extract. Very good. So now we go to slash user ports and under misc there should be the olama client and here we can just type in make. All right, so it compiled now and the obvious next step is make install. You're going to see that in this case um, I have it installed already. So if it would be an upgrade, then I would make uh, first a T install, followed by a make install again. Very good. And here I wanted to show this because it says uh, that to run the model we need to open two terminals. One of them is to run the server and the other one is to run a model. So here is the Mistral, uh, or Mistral, I don't know how you pronounce this. Um, English is not my native language. Uh, anyways, um, uh, you can run a model here, and I'm going to show you how to uh, do that. And it's a really nice script, provided also the Olama limit GPU layers. You might need this um, if you cannot load the model, which uh, we're going to see it's going to be the case for one of the models. <laughs> Before that, I would like to see, actually I should have done this before, uh, PKG update. Okay. And let's see actually if the Olama is already in the repository. I compiled this from the sources, but maybe uh, I'm not sitting on the latest, so it might not be there. PKG search Olama. Well, <laughs> it is already there, uh, interesting enough. So um, I've shown you how to compile things from source, but you could just as easily do, uh, have done a PKG install Olama. And uh, now it's not going to do it because uh, it's already installed from the ports tree. Very good, okay. So let's um, uh, go here. So just make sure um, to know that uh, it can take a lot of hard disk space. So just be aware of this. The AI models are relatively large. But uh, let's start here with the terminal. So copy here. Um, I'm just going to start the model, uh, running exactly the command that is provided there. And it looks fine for now. So open another terminal and run the model that is provided, uh, that is here. It's going to have to pull the model so let's see, pulling the manifest, and as you can see, it takes already four 
gigabytes inside the model. But um, yeah, uh, everything looks fine until now. So um, it pulled uh, the model uh, and now we have the prompt here where we can see um, how to run the model. So we can say slash forward slash question mark. And in this case, let's uh, see the set verbose. Uh, verbose with E. And let's just try uh, why is the sky blue? So relatively low, uh, 3.1 tokens per second. Okay, so let's uh, uh, exit. So now I'm going to try to pull another model. So Olama uh, pull the Lama. Um, the version was 3.2 with 1 billion parameters. Let's see how fast this goes. Yes, this model is definitely smaller. It uh, occupies 1.3 gigabytes. So now I pulled the uh, Llama 3.2 um, model with 1 billion parameters. Uh, and we can run this model with Olama run, or let's first do a list. So this is the models we have, and let's try this Olama run, and let's get this model. Before I do this, I want to come back here to this terminal and say NVIDIA uh, SMI. So yes, you see uh, the Llama server is currently running and taking a little bit of memory, so four, uh, about four gigabytes of memory. That's how big the model was. And currently the GPU is not being used, so we can add uh, loop equals one, I think. Yes. So here uh, it's just repeating the, the things. You can see the time passing here. And we see that the GPU usage, it's at zero percent. Here the, um, the server is still running. Okay, we don't care about this for now. And let's run the 1 billion parameter model. So it's loading. And if we go here, uh, it should see you. So the previous model has been removed. And so no process running with this model and zero CPU usage. And let's ask again, why uh, actually set verbose again? Oops, uh, out of device memory. Ah, yes, <laughs> sorry, I am exactly. That was the main point. So why didn't we see any process running here? So the server was using, uh, the server was using the GPU memory and now it's not, is we have this problem here with, um, yeah, uh, out of device memory. Um, I think my card has, um, yeah, four gigas of memory. So it was on the edge there, but this model is sm smaller. So why, uh, why is it not running? Well, um, I'm not an expert in LLM, so I cannot really tell you, but um, the way I found to fix this is exactly with, um, exactly with the, the small helper script that is provided there. Let's so, and for me, the, um, the optimal settings was the, so let's see, uh, Olama limit CPU layers. Uh, let's get this parameter. And now we can just say, uh, let's put uh, four CPU layers. Mm -hmm. So transferring the model data. And I think now it will load. So this is still not the optimal uh, that I've found, the optimal, uh, no uh, device memory is exhausted. 
So let's uh, limit to one. And let's try. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Um, so uh, this was my mistake. Olama, let's do a list. Of course, I tried to load the previous model. So now it has its uh, limitation. Uh, I created now two models here. So let's run. Actually, let's go for the GPU four. I know I, I, uh, there is a reason I want to go for this one. Uh, sorry, um, this is going wrong. Olama, run TET model. Yes. I'm not editing out the mistakes. <laughs> so now finally set verbose. Okay. Why is the sky blue? Let's see how fast it looks a little bit faster. And let's go back here. So we can see 14% usage of CPU. It's using uh, 800 megabytes of GPU memory. So it's um, an internal graphics card. Maybe uh, I, I didn't try, but with um, with FreeBSD, maybe you can get an external graphics card running. You'd need a, an NVIDIA most likely for that. So it's still generating. So going at 14%, 15%, it's going faster. So 12 tokens uh, faster. Okay, exit. Now, finally, we have the one. So this was the optimal uh, value. So more than 16, I could not get in my machine to run. Um, if I put here uh, 17, it, I cannot load the model anymore. So this will vary for you. And let's do first a list. Let's not fall into the same mistake. Olama, run. Now we run with the GPU 16 and let's see how fast it is. So. Uh, first of all, let's see the loading process. So here we see uh, it's now occupying more memory, 1.5 uh, gigabytes. And the model is there. So why is the sky? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, first set verbose. Why is the sky blue? And look. Uh, it's faster. Uh, also, higher CPU usage, we get 70%. So this is, um, I guess that this is number of cores being used in the GPU. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it, it does run faster. So 15 tokens per second, I'm happy. Um, and um, for this video, let's, what is FreeBSD? And we get the answer here. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please use the boxes down below. Otherwise, I wish you have a good day and take care and see you next time. Bye bye.